my channel I know it looks like we're in the middle of something and that's because we are today's video is gonna be a video that I been meaning to get out for a while because I get questions on how I get my lashes on all the time because you know your girl love a big ass dramatic lash girl so I figured why not show it today so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> okay so applying lashes is fairly simple once you get used to it so practice is gonna be so practice is gonna be everything for you and that's how you're gonna get better over time so what you're gonna need is some tweezers I have my tweezer men um, the pointed end tweezers here or for my beginners you can get these um, little lash tweezers where they automatically you know just sit right here on your lid that's gonna be easier for you if this is your first pair of lashes I recommend also having some little baby um, cuticle scissors on hand this one is from real techniques from the little brow kit I recommend having these scissors on hand if these are a new pair of lashes and if you may need to trim them a little bit yada 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 so for my taste I don't ever have to cut my lashes because my eyes are just big enough to just set them on there I've never had to cut lashes before for myself I've done it before for clients but for me never had the need to do that so and the last thing that you're gonna need to complete this look is just a nice black eyeliner this is the Rimmel scandal eyes eyeliner and of course you're gonna need some lash glue I am taking my Broadway strip lash adhesive y'all know how I feel about this lash glue this is my favorite lash glue period <laughs> Um, it's a black glue and it has a nice little thick wand tip that makes easy application, mess free, stroke free, you know, you just pop it on and you're good to go. This lash glue is waterproof, oil free, latex free, um, hypoallergenic, comedone free. It's just perfect. I said comedone free, y'all. <laughs> As a 24 hour flexible hold. I am a crier. I cry when I laugh. I cry when I eat. I cry when I'm happy. I cry when I cry. I cry when I'm sad. So if you're a crier, you got watery eyes, this glue is a number one for you. This glue is super affordable, by the way. This glue is only two bucks at the Dollar General, which makes it such a steal, girl. I've tried dozens of glue at this point. I love this glue better than Duo. Duo just smells so strong and i don't like having that scent by my eye because i feel like that's the reason why i'm tearing up because it's just that strong so that's why i do not like duo but i'll use it if i, I don't have anything else i do not use hair glue you know the little quick weave glue my girls that do that i pray for y'all because i just be so scared of putting that on my eye because they, they i've watched videos of people that use hair glue and it's like you know no no you don't let this dry you just pop it on and go I'm like, pop it on wet? Girl, I be done glue my eyelid shut. So I've never used hair glue. Um, This is just, this is just the goat. This is the tea. This is it. Period. I am taking my big old lashes. These lashes are from my unreleased lash line. Um, I've, I get comments all the time like, where do I get my lashes from? Why don't I ever mention it? And it's just because of that. I want my lash line to be so perfect when it launches. That is nuts. Um, There's something for everyone. You might not like a 25 but there is lashes for everyone i have baby proof lashes you know if you're just a cute little natural girl who doesn't like all that length you know just something to accentuate what you already got i got that if you're a big ass dramatic girl like me i got 25s and i also got 30 so i cannot wait to launch and show all that good stuff to you guys that video will also be up really really soon i'm so excited so all that talking done let's get started <laughs> So, the first thing that I like to do is just take some mascara and apply it to my upper and bottom lashes. Today, I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is the waterproof mascara. Um, it should be in the shade Black is Black or Black, just Black mascara. That's what I like to use. I don't have any way of putting on mascara. I just put on a little bit and go ahead about my day. I don't do a whole lot of mascara just because my lashes are short. And, you know, I'm just doing this to get rid of any excess powder from when I was doing my face. This is why I do lashes last. That way powder doesn't get all over them. I do kind of take my time on my lower lashes. Um, just because I like a little bit of the mascara to hit behind it. So I get that Kim Kardashian smoky under eye without having a mess. This is a really nice mascara. It's a nice dupe for the Too Faced. Um, better than Sex Mascara, if you like that. Um, there's a difference. I don't know if you care to see that. So now you just want to take your lashes on your tweezer. If this is a new pair of lashes, we're going to assume that this is a new pair of lashes. It's not um, 
my lashes last and last mess. I've been wearing the same pair of lashes now since June, almost July. I think like February, sometime in February is when I put this pair on. Um, it's all about care and maintenance for your lashes. Um, so this is a new, we're assuming this is a new pair of lashes, right? I want to take it on my tweezer and I'm just going to set it on top of my eye just to measure, right? Like I said, mine automatically fit my eye perfectly. I never have to cut, trim, or anything. So what I like to do is, you want to see, this is the end corner of your eye, correct? If it comes out any further, you want to cut that off. So let's just assume this right here was excess. You want to take about a little before the end of your lash and cut that off. So it's hard for me to explain because mine fit my eye. But let's say if this was the end of your eye, well, this is the end of your eye. This is the end of the lash band, correct? You want to take this much off. Just a little bit of excess hair off. That way it looks natural. Real Technique scissors, and you just go snoop, 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 and trim that off. And then what you want to do is you want to take it again and put it up here and just measure, making sure that you took off just enough to work. This to see that, oh, yep, okay, this works, this. And you can do this the same way for the front of your lash band. If you don't like the drama in the front, you can just snip, 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 and you're good to go. So you want to line your lash up with right in the, right before it comes to a point in your eye. So about right here. You can always line it up with your bottom waterline because you can tell where it starts to curve at. That's about where you want to start at your top lash line when you're applying your lashes. So it'll be about right here. Measure it one more time. Making sure that you're set, making sure that you're good. And practice your little wink when you see your boo. There you go. Okay, so now that our lashes are all measured and we're ready to go, I hope y'all are walking through this with me because this is how I'm envisioning my head that you're walking through this process with me. That's what I'm talking about. This. So now that our lashes are all cut and measured and ready to go, where it's time to apply our lash glue. I'm going to do one lash with tweezers, one lash without tweezers because I don't use tweezers anymore. If your nails are long enough, you can do it, you know, if you need to do it like this. Put your nails um, to as tweezers. That's why I'm too... I just never use tweezers. I don't ever do this. I just take it between my fingers like that and pop it on. So, let's go in with our lash glue now. Like I said, this has a nice wand. So, you don't have to worry about, you know, getting it everywhere. It's not a brush. It's just a nice little thick wand. So, taking the glue, I am starting on the ends, getting plenty of product on those ends. Just so, you know, they don't pop up during the day. I've never had that issue with this glue if it lifted or anything. So, that is a plus. And now I'm taking the lash glue on both sides of the band to ensure stability and that when it's on, it's on and it ain't coming off till I'm ready for her to come off. Now I'm going to set this lash right back down on our tray and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to our other lash. So our other lash is going ahead and getting nice and dry and tacky for us while we're applying the glue to this one. And a good time frame to say is about a minute to a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, so our lashes are drying now, about a minute to a minute and 30 seconds. Typically by the time that you finish applying glue to this one, this one is almost ready to be applied. So I am gonna take my tweezers. Um, I'm not sure which one you prefer. I feel like this one is more easier to get your hands on than this because this one came in like a, um, a lash tab pack of individuals so i'm gonna go ahead and use my tweezerman pointy um tweezers but i'm also going to show you how you can do it with these you want to take your lash on the tweezer and you want to hold it about right here where the lashes start to branch out you can kind of see where i'm holding it at you want to have your handheld mirror handheld mirror in hand and you want to be looking down at your lashes and you want to take it on the tweezer take the corner Cause it's already tacky so it's gonna stick once it hits and just down on there and once the lash is nice and in place you can take this tweezer or this tweezer whichever you're using and push your natural lashes up into your false lashes I'm not gonna say I feel like the tweezers just make it difficult so that's why I'm gonna show you this eye without tweezers how I do this on a normal basis I just take my lash like this in the same location as the tweezers look down 
stick the corner and boom the glue already dry just makes it so much easier for you all right and now because this lash glue is black this part is totally optional just fyi it's just me being extra and i, I just always do this um i take my black eyeliner pencil this is a gel pencil kajal pencil whatever you want to call it so that it has a nice smooth no tug Right, and so there you have it that is how i apply my lashes if your lashes are long you can go back in with a little bit um more of the mascara just to top them off a little bit i don't like putting mascara on my false lashes it just makes them harder to clean now moving on to this other part of our lash docu series i clean my lashes how i take care of my lashes and how i get them to last as long as i do i'm taking my l'oreal my cellular cleansing water and i'm not taking these off to show you because i have something to do today but i'm going to show you so i'm just taking this other lash that i have um i wore these not too long ago this is also from my lash line and i take the case that the lash can comes in you can do this with all lash cases except for lily lashes because those are paper boxes so that's why I like my cases. They're hard. They're usable. You ain't got to worry about cracking it. You throw it in your bag. You're good to go, girl. So I take the lash in the tray, just like that. And now I take a little bit of my micellular water in the tray, right on the lash. You don't need a whole lot, just like that. This enough to saturate the lash and the lash band, yada, yada, yada. All right, so now I'm taking my little spoolie brush. This is just a little disposable spoolie. You can get these from like Sally's or the beauty supply store. And I am just poking the lash band, making sure that, you know, the entire lash is nice and saturated. Now I'm taking the brush ends and gently working at the lash. Okay, so now, you can have both lashes in the bath at the same time, but I'm just doing one for the purpose of this video. And like I said, I'm just taking the brush, working that my cellular water through the actual lashes itself, nice and gently. You don't want to pull the lashes off the band. You know, once it's nice and saturated and I feel like I don't work it through enough, I just let it set in this water for about three minutes. Okay, so now that the lash has sat in there for a little bit of time, you can see like any glitter particles in there. You can see like sometimes um, the water looks a little murky from the eyeliner or your mascara or any eyeshadow that was on the band. You can see all that in the bath. What you want to do now, you can take a tweezer or you can take your finger. For the purpose of this video, like I said, I'm doing it with the tweezer. You're going to just take it out of the bath. And you want to have just a regular Kleenex ready on hand. So I'm going to take it just like this. I'm going to grab the lash out of the bath. And it's dripping wet. You want to lay it down on your Kleenex. So, now that the lash is off of the tissue, it looks like this. And you can still sometimes see, like, depending on the eyeshadow base, you'll see that start to peek through. What you just want to do is take a makeup wipe, because as you can see, it's really easy to just pick it off if anything is left to remove that excess. And there we go, squeaky clean. So now I take the same tray that the lash was in, taking a bath, and I just take that tissue after I pour the excess out of course to dry it off now i just let my lash go right back in the tray to air dry and that's how i maintain my lashes and i keep them in the tray i put the little slider lid back on here i'm not doing that for the purpose of this video um yeah and i just let it air dry and we have nice clean sanitized lashes ready for the next day of slight so with that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it helps you out a whole great deal because i know a lot of people still struggle with lashes so I hope that that helps you and I will see y'all in my next video. Stay tuned for that video because I'll be showing you how I got this face in my review of this foundation. Can't wait for y'all to check that out.